Hi everyone, Renee here. If you're looking for a 30 minute rebounder workout, then you are in the right place. Put on your favorite music or no music at all, and let's just get started. Feet are hip width apart and parallel. You have a soft bend in your knees, find your heavy tailbone, so tailbone down, neutral spine, navel pulls up, hands on your hips, and just begin with the basic bounce. Balls of your feet are on the rebounder, heels are lifting ever so slightly, and squeeze the muscles in your lower body, your core. Start to just relax your shoulders. You don't want to pull them down with the tension in your shoulders, just relax. So start to breathe, start to smile, get used to being on the mini trampoline, get used to being on this unstable surface. So today's workout, each move we're gonna do for 30 seconds of work, we have just about 60 moves. Yes, so this is pretty much a no repeat 30 minute workout. So it's going to be fun and it's gonna go by fast. So 30 seconds each move, that's it. The reason I say pretty much 60 moves is because the last few minutes, we are going to sprint it out or jog in place or march, whatever you would like to do. But the last few minutes will just be repetitive motion. It's always a great way to end a cardio workout because it's almost like meditation. So you can really get into your body and end the workout on a calm, peaceful mind. Okay, it's still gonna be tough. We're gonna get our heart rates up. We're gonna keep them there and just have a good time. So we're gonna get started, but let's do a quick little warm up. If you need a lot of longer warm up, pause this video, head on over, do one of my warm ups, and then come right back. So bring your arms on right side, deeper than arms to the right. And exhale, arms straight down. Do that again, inhale and exhale. Okay, I wanna warm up our feet really quick since we're going to be doing a 30 minute workout and it could be a lot on your ankles and your feet. So stop your bounce, feet are about hip width. Take your right foot a little bit in front of your left and just roll through it a few times in one direction. Really getting all parts of your foot, your toes, your ankle, and now switch directions. Just waking them up. Okay, switch sides, same thing. We just really wanna make sure that we're ready to go for all this bouncing, switch. Okay, so just kind of shaking your legs out. We're ready. I'm gonna start our timer. Our first move is simply marching, walking in place. So we have just about eight seconds and then our 30 minute workout starts. Make sure you have water nearby, you can grab it at any time. Three, two, one, we're starting. Okay, so right here. 30 seconds, that's it. Each move, 30 seconds. So if you don't like a move, no, we're moving on to the next. So throughout this workout, I'm going to show you a move without adding any hops or bouncing, but I will also show you how you can add, take it up to the next level and bounce through it, okay? So if you wanna keep this strictly a walking workout on the rebounder, you totally can. And if you wanna take it up a little more energy, you can do that too. Okay, in three seconds, we're gonna add a hop. So it's almost like a skip, ready, go. Looks like this. Okay, so as we go, we're not really getting any breaks, so you're just gonna learn the moves along the way. So you can always stay in the previous move, move a little bit longer till you see what the next move is. If you liked that march, always make your way back there. If you don't wanna bounce, you simply are lifting like that, okay? Like I said, options always. You're only here for five more seconds, and then of course, whew, we're already moving along. Yes, so now we're just stepping arm swings. So it looks like this, or you can add a hop. Okay, nice work. Yes, smile here. You have about 15 seconds. I told you it's gonna go really fast because we're changing moves so much. Feel this open in your shoulders and your back. Feels nice. And you can bounce or not. Three seconds here. Okay, so now march, knee pull. Okay, so arms pull down and knee comes up. Use your core. Again, if you'd like to add a hop, you're just hopping, just like that, okay? You do what feels good for you today. The goal is that you're just moving. You're getting healthy. Yes. A few more. Three, two, one. Now you can out, out, in, in. So you're just stepping out and back in, or you go out and in. Yes. You're also gonna feel your upper body, your shoulders are working to stop your arms right at shoulder height. Yes, I'm in the mood to jump today. I've got some energy, so I'm gonna be bouncing. Remember, do whatever you need. Back through center, looks like this. Little, little runs, okay? So tiny, tiny, not big runs. 
You're just picking your knees up ever so slightly. Beautiful. Keep going, keep moving. Breathe. 10 more seconds. And then we're moving into twist with the knee. Remember, you can stay in this move till you know the next move. Three, two, one. So knee twist and twist. Okay, so again, you can be here with no hop or you can hop. You could also have your hands behind your head if you like that. I just feel a little more energized when I reach back. Not a huge twist, just a little bit. Beautiful, you have eight more seconds. You're doing it, 30 minutes, different moves. Okay, feet go wide. We're simply going reach and reach. If you want a little hop, just a little hop here. Little tap out to the side. Just changing it up. Makes it fun. Indoor cardio, nice and quick. Also good for your lymphatic system, good for immune system, good for your nervous system as well. Balancing is a great way to bring down our nerves, to bring down our cortisol. Okay, back to center, wide step forward back. Just like that, or we hop. Yes. Woo. Nice work. You have 12 more seconds, and then we're going on to the next move. Stay with me. Yes. Remember, you can always stay here as I show you what's to come. Ready? Here we go. We go step, hop, step, hop. Yes, if you want to take it up a notch, you could jump, hop, jump, hop. Get your bearings. Our heart rate's jumping up as we go. 10 more seconds, and we're already five minutes in. Before we know it, we're gonna be halfway through. Yes. Okay, crisscross jacks next. Feet go wide, just crisscross jack. Okay, I'm alternating which hand goes on top and which foot goes forward. The nice thing about this workout, about this one, is it's pretty much a mindless workout for the most part. So if you just want a 30 minutes where you can come up here, you can zone out, you can move, this is a good one for that. In five seconds, we're going into skaters. If you know what that is, we're going there now. Side to side. You can either tap your back foot or keep it floating. Maybe move a little bit faster. Yes. 20 seconds. Abs are engaged. Feel your inner outer thighs right here. 15 seconds. Yes. Also feel it in your hips. Not a bad thing. Hip mobility is a good thing, especially as we age. Let's go. Last one, okay. Hop with front punches. You don't have to hop if that doesn't feel good. You can keep your feet planted. Little slightly across the body here. I don't know if you can see that. Slightly as if you're punching right in front of the opposite shoulder. Soften of your knees. I'm taking a little bigger hop than a basic bounce. But if you'd like to just take a basic bounce, you could do that as well. 10 more seconds. Yes. Okay, next move. You twist tap, twist tap. So a little turn and you stamp on that front foot. Yes, nice work. If you wanna hop, you can little hops here. You're pivoting on your back foot here. Nice, yes. 12 more seconds, 30 minutes, rebounding. Cardio intensive, just a great way to wake up your system. Last one, quick feet. Okay, so just fast feet, out and in. We did similar fast feet before. We lifted our knees up a little bit. This, think more pressing down, and your feet are going out and in. Yes, nice work. Woo, 10 seconds. Pendulum coming up next. Nice, okay. If you don't like the bounce, you can just tap and tap. If you're ready to bounce, we're bouncing here. 
You could always place your hands on your hips if your arms moving are kind of messing you with your balance today. Yes. You have 10 more seconds and then we're going into wide knees. You can either march it or edge around. Wide knees looks like this. Here it is with just marching or you can edge your backs. Arms are swinging up and overhead. Yes. Beautiful. Feel your obliques. Feel your hips open up. Inner thigh stretch. Relief. 10 more seconds. Woo! One more each way. And then alternate. You have options. Toe tap in front, opening up inner thigh, or alternate higher taps. Woo! Remember, it's only 30 seconds, so maybe you try this next level up. Next move is a variation of the out ends. We're gonna do double out, double in, or you're gonna simply do your step out and ends like you've done before. Woo! Okay, out. So if you're hopping, it goes out, out, in, in. Okay, just like that. If you're stepping, simply out, out, in, in. Okay? 20 seconds left though. If you'd like to add your arms, you can. We did the singles earlier. Now we're just taking it up. A little different, slight hinge forward, abs are in. After this, we're going back to a march. Different arm motions though. Okay, hold it in, arms up. Okay, so you open, close your arms as you alternate marching your knees. Yes. Maybe you get a little bit of a higher march. After all that hopping, if you were hopping with me, this feels like a little breather. Remember at any time, grab water. After this move, we're 10 minutes in. So 20 minutes to go. Next move, we do knee kick and we alternate sides. So we go knee, kick right, knee, kick left. Okay, just like that. I like to have my hands on guard whenever we're doing a kickboxing like move. Nice. 20 seconds right here. 15 seconds. Breathe through this. Woo! Yes. You have five more seconds. Breathe. I'm breathing heavy with you. One more each side. Yes, okay, now we're going back to the fast feet, but this time I want you to think bicep curls. So a little hinge forward, arms extend and bend. So just a little different motion with your upper body. Fast feet is such an amazing one. You feel the motion in your lower body. You're using the tension in the trampoline to help make it a little more intense. It adds resistance to this move to your lower body. Last one, now we hop to the right as we punch right. Yes, 30 seconds here, and then simply 30 seconds on the other side. Less than 20 minutes. We're almost at that halfway mark. You're doing amazing. You stayed with me this long. Our heart rates are staying high for 30 minutes straight. You're getting your heart healthier each and every workout you do here. In three seconds, we simply switch sides. Okay, switch sides. Yes. Nice work. We're coming. Coming in strong. Remember, you can always just keep your feet planted. You could always just step to the side as you punch. 10 more seconds. Yes. And then we're doing lunge hop, moving your right leg. Go. Okay, 30 seconds this side, and then 30 seconds the other side. Nice work. Let's go. Woo! You have 10 more seconds. Then we're switching sides. Your base leg is on fire. That's what's keeping you balanced here. Three, two, one. Switch sides. Yes. We're here for it. 
The next move after this, you have jumping jack lower body legs, press ups with your arms. They'll be at 90 degrees, and you press them up. I'll show you. No worries. So think goal post position and the arms press overhead. There we go. Better description, ready? Go. Yep, okay, just like that. Try to stop them at shoulder height, legs go out and in. Spinal. You could always tap your legs if you need to, instead of jumping. So it would look like this, okay? Take any variation you need. You can always get your sip of water at any time. In five seconds, we're gonna, our feet go wide, and I'll show you where we're going. Ready? Your feet go right. Tap, tap. So think reach across, tap. So get a little lower in your lunge. This is one of those little bit of a breaks. I added these in just to give our bodies a little mental reset. Okay, we got it. After this, your feet stay wide. We just do tiny hops with big arm swings. One more each way. Okay, so tiny hops wide, and then you just swing, swing, yes. Whenever we add our upper and lower body together, it really spikes our heart rate. So that's why it's important to get everything going. If for some reason you feel a little too drained, lose the upper body, and just simply do the lower body. Let's get a little more into it. Think hips back, bend your knees, pull your abs in. Five more seconds here. Okay, alternate knee up to the hop. So it looks like this, hop and hop. Okay, so you're punching up opposite arm as knee goes up. You can lose the hop as needed. After this move, we're halfway through. We're coming to our 15 minute mark. Yes, nice work. In eight seconds, traditional jumping jacks. We haven't done those yet, and you know I love them here. One more. Okay, you can always tap it side to side. Yes, beautiful work. Lots of movements, lots of steps today. Breathe through this, 15 seconds. We have a combo with our knees. We're gonna go knee right, left, right hold, left, right, left hold. I'll show you, you can stay with the jumping jacks if you wanna watch first. Right, left, right hold left, right, left hold. So you actually have that little double bounce on the hold on your bottom leg. Yes. Fifteen seconds. And then we're going to have our feet together and just sideways hops. Hop side to side. Yes. Again, you can step it side to side if the hopping is not there for you. Otherwise, we're hopping side to side and add your little side body bend here. Woo! Yes. Lots of movement. We are in it. 15 more seconds and you're under 14 minutes. So do not stop now. After this, you're gonna single leg hop on your left foot, okay? Okay, bring your right heel to your glute Knees are in line and you just hop. 30 seconds on this leg and then 30 seconds on the other. Try to stay upright, try not to lean to the working side. 20 seconds on this leg, yes. Smile, I'm right there with you. This is tough for me too, but I know that I'm gonna be stronger and healthier for it. And each and every time I get up on my yoga I get even stronger and the workouts get a little bit more manageable. I don't wanna say easier because it never really gets easy. Okay, switch legs. And exercise, we always wanna make sure that we're pushing ourselves just a little bit further each and every time. We wanna come out of our comfort zone, okay? But we also wanna make sure that we're still comfortable and we're not causing injury. So just enough out of your comfort zone that you can make some change, some positive growth and change, mentally and physically. Okay, after this, alternate front kicks. Three, two, one, okay, you can simply kick and kick or hop. Kick, 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 kick. Remember, it's only 30 seconds. I am always taking it up here. 
because I have that power, I have that energy, but maybe you're not feeling up for it today, and that's okay. Like I said, just be where you're at, no judgment. Eight seconds, and then we're doing squat hops. Little squat hops, so it looks like this. Squat hop, squat hop. Okay, so you're not coming all the way down. When you're on the rebounder, you just wanna be careful of your knees. Since it's such an unstable surface, if you try to squat too low, your knees might buckle in or out, and that might be painful. So just a little bit, and then hop right back up. Find power. Yes. Woo! Booty kicks are coming up. Heel to glutes, just like this, 30 seconds. Yes. Maybe a little faster. You have 15 more seconds. Wow. Everything seems to be skyrocketing at this point. We are almost down to our 10 minute mark. You've almost been with me for 20 minutes. Okay, our feet are gonna go slightly wider and then we're gonna punch up, punch down. Just staying right. Okay. I had us do mini squats before. I had us do squat hops so you knew this motion before we came here. Okay. I have my other hand on guard. In 15 seconds, we're simply switching sides. Yes, that means one minute of these squat hops. Not easy, Woo! but you've got this. Okay, switch sides. Yes, on fire. 25 seconds, then we're going into jump rope. Woo! Breathe. Smile. I'm not talking much because I'm breathing really heavy during this one. If you need a sip here, good time to take one. Okay, I'm going to sip and then jump rope. Of course, you don't really have a jump rope. But do the motion. Yes. Breathe through this. 10 minutes. Less than 10 minutes to go. You've already been with me for 20 minutes. Nice. We're going to hold these jump ropes for one minute, okay? Yes, I know we need that little bit of a breather. We're going to hold this for one minute. And then finish strong for nine minutes. Okay? A little breath. If you need to, you can just take it side to side here. You do what works for you. And you smile through this as best you can. Okay, 15 more seconds. Then we have a squat hop with a little twist. You stay here, I'm gonna show you. So your squat, hip twist. Okay, okay, eight more seconds. And then that's where we're going. Four, three, two, one. Squat, hip. Okay. So you're just alternating, which hip comes forward. You're relatively keeping your chest squared off. Yes. 15 seconds. Next move is we're gonna alternate our knee lifts with a clap underneath our thigh. If you would like, if you can't get under there, that's totally fine. I'll show you options, always. Okay, the move looks like this. If you can't get under there, just simply do jumping jack arms, okay? It's just a little fun change. It helps you to engage your core a little bit more. You really have to curve out your abs. You have to find that scoop of your abs here, that C curve, to get up and under your thigh. After this move, eight minutes. So close. Little combo move coming up. Two front punches, two heel clicks. Look like this. Punch, punch, heel, click, heel, click. Yes. Nice. I really like this move. We're gonna stay here for a minute. It's just a nice little change. Oh, keep going. Punch, punch, heel, click, heel, click. Yes. I just get it down pat. Yes. 
Okay, 20 more seconds right here. And next we're going into something I like to call a rocking horse. Pick one leg to go forward first, but not yet, in eight seconds. Okay, I'm gonna show you, keep going. So rocking horse looks like this, okay? Ready, go. 30 seconds with this leg forward, and we're gonna switch and do the other leg forward. Yes, nice work. Pull your core in nice and tight. You have 15 seconds on this side, and then we're gonna simply switch to the other side. Nice. Yes, five more seconds here. Okay, switch. Looks like this. Just other leg forward now. Just a little different move. It's always fun to add these moves in. You have 20 seconds right here. Then we have wide feet twist from side to side. Yes, you can always take it back to the basic bounce while you're getting to know the next move. Just keep moving. Or get yourself a water while you're watching too. Okay, it looks like this. So you simply twist, twist. If you're not jumping today, you would just step and step. So similar to the other one we did earlier, but this one, if you're jumping, get here with me. 20 more seconds. We're almost to that five minute mark. After this, you have side kick to the right. Or really whichever side you would like to kick to to start, because we're doing both. Okay, ready, kick and kick. Of course, you can keep stable and no bouncing, but I'm bouncing today. Yes. 20 more seconds, then you take it to the other side. And in 20 seconds, five minutes left. So you've made this far. Do not give up on yourself. I'm not gonna give up on you. I'm here with you. We're doing this together. Eight seconds. Three, two, one, switch sides. Yes. Nice work. Woo! Yes. Keep going. You have 15 seconds. Sometimes you have to talk yourself into it, and that's what I want you to do right now. Don't talk yourself out of it. Talk yourself into it. That's where we're at. Five more seconds. Then we have a little around the world. Okay, you like this, hop forward, back, side, back. Make sure you switch directions so you don't get dizzy. Yeah, so I switch directions every single time I hit the front. I then reverse it and go the other way. If you don't like this going around, just stay front, do the same motion. Like I said, I just try to keep this fun, keep this moving, keep our minds engaged. Last time around, Okay, are you ready? Next move, we have kick front, side, front, and side. Okay, so it looks like this. Front, side, and just stay right here. Okay, so you've learned both these moves already. Now we just put them together. 30 seconds on this leg, then 30 seconds on the other. Okay, and then we are down to our final few moves, our final few minutes. Okay, switch legs. I will tell you. Okay, next move, heel clicks all by itself. We did it with the punches earlier. And then we are gonna have about two and a half minutes of straight up sprinting, high knees, or marching. Whatever you would like. That's where we're coming to. But in 10 seconds, we're going into heel clicks all by themselves. Actually, no, we have two more moves and then two minutes of the sprints. Okay. Ready, go. 30 seconds heel clicks. I forgot, we have two more moves and then two minutes of our drag, sprint, high knees march. Whatever you're here for today. Whatever your body has to give. Okay? We're ending strong. You can always just tap this out and in. 10 more seconds. Yes. Okay, then the final move are X jumps, or you can do jumping jacks or you're tapping jumping jacks. Ready, go, 30 seconds. You can always tap this or stick with regular jumping jacks. I love to just power us up at the end. 
Okay, after this, two minutes left. I'm sprinting. I'm gonna try to stay with my sprint for the final two minutes. You do whatever move you'd like. Maybe you alternate between some sprinting, some marches, some jogs. I just want you to do you. Three, two, one, go. Okay, two minutes. I am going to try to sprint this out until the end. It's not gonna be easy, but we're strong. Abs are in, chest is proud. Go as fast or slow as you would like. I'm definitely not at my full power sprint. Just as hard as you are. Whew. We've already done over 28 minutes of rebounding. So be proud of where you've come. So maybe you're just walking, marching here. That's okay. Minute and a half left, 90 seconds left. Keep going. You can do anything for 90 seconds. 90 seconds out of your entire day is nothing. 90 seconds out of a 30 minute workout is nothing. Minute 15. Maybe close your eyes. Take this time just for you. Love yourself. Be proud for taking 30 minutes out. Maybe you want to repeat this for a 60 minute. Woo! Okay, one minute. Maybe you speed it up. Abs are in, my abs are tired. Yes, let's go. The consistent movement. So meditative, so good for our brain, our mind, our bodies. Yes, arms are just scaling right and back, back and forth, right next to your body, next to your rib cage. Yes, stay with me, 35 seconds. And you got this. Go to your happy place. Talk yourself into it. Don't talk yourself out. Woo! Okay, 20 seconds. Pick it up. Whatever you have left in the tank, that finish line is there and it's you versus you. Can you give it just a little bit more? Give it all you've got. 10 seconds. Yes. I've got you. We're in this together. Five, four, faster. Three, two, one. Done. We did that, you did that. Amazing. Heart rate skyrocketed and stayed up the entire time. We need to make sure that we're bringing it down. We need to make sure that we bring our cortisol level down, get out of that fight or flight zone and into the rest, digest and recover zone, okay? So let's just bounce it here. I'm just taking a boxer shuffle, shifting my weight side to side and breathing. Yes, okay, let's step it side to side. Start to shake out your arms. Breath in through your nose, out through your mouth here. Yes. Feet go wide and just little rotation side to side. Let your arms just hang. This is such a great way to get you out of the stress zone. So throughout your day, if you ever feel yourself getting some anxiety, some stressors coming your way, you can stop and do this. Let's open up through our hips, so just alternate, tap. And you may not be able to reach the inside of your foot, that's totally fine. We're just opening up through our hip flexors here. We're gonna go through some internal and external rotations, just to get us feeling our best and to get our body into the rest zone, where all the magic happens. Now tap outside. Yes, nice work, again. Some internal external rotations. A few more. One more each way. Feet go wide. Circle your hips. Nice big circles. Switch directions. I'm just taking us through a nice recovery. I've done so much research on how important these recoveries are. Hips just go side to side. Just kind of open everything up. Now I want you to take your right foot and just do your ankle circles again. Finding some space, switch sides. Or switch directions, now switch sides. Just make sure that you get each foot. Good job. Roll through your ankles if you on your side if you need to hold on to something. Just really finding some space. Heel to glute, slow controlled. Okay, now let's come to our standing Shavasana. You can also do this lying down if you would like. You could do the stand on the floor. 
Feet are slightly wider than your hips. Find some nice relaxing breaths. Find some calming breaths. Lift your shoulders up to tense them and then just let them fall into place without pulling them down. Breathe in through your nose. Out through your nose. I want you to focus on long exhales. That helps to relax your body. We're gonna stay here for just a little bit longer, a few more breaths. Allow your body to really calm down when you come back. Deep breath and arms overhead and exhale. Thank you all for being here with me today. Make sure that you like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if you like this 30 minute rebounding workout. Let me know if you're liking the ending and how I'm helping us calm down, refresh, and bring that back. So have a great day. Goodbye, everyone.